Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I am so much thankful for liking and uh, staying with me and uh, appreciating my work. It really means a lot. So this is the most uh, requested video on my Instagram. So this is my daily makeup routine which I follow uh, when I go to office. This is a super easy and quick makeup look. I have uh, created for you guys which I also follow on daily basis so if you want to get this look and you want to know more about this please um, stay tuned and let's begin the video so I'm going to start with my color bar primer so I will just take a little bit of it on my hands and we'll apply it over my t-zone this primer helps in minimizing your pore and let your makeup stay on to your skin and does not go inside the pores so I will apply it all over my face so as my skin is oily so for oily skin silicone based primer is the best primer so those who have oily skin they can definitely go for this primer this is a wonderful primer again I will link down all the details in the description box so once I'm done with my uh, color bar primer the next thing which I would use is uh, this this is an orange corrector from LA Girl Pro, Pro Conceal in the shade orange so this is a corrector this is basically uh, useful uh, for those who have dark darkness like dark, dark spots or dark circles so you just need to take a little bit amount and apply it just make sure you don't go overboard on this otherwise you will make your entire face turn um, oranges so I will just use my hands to spread this this silicone I mean the primer which I have used it also helps spread out your makeup very easily so you don't have to struggle in applying any of the product so I will just apply this over all, all over my eyes like this now I will go with applying concealer so here I am using Maybelline Age Rewind uh, Eraser of Dark Circle this, this uh, product I am loving it to the core this is my third tube which I am using I am opening with you this is the brand new which I have recently ordered as you can see it's very new so I will let the product come up so while you are doing first time you have to twist it for some time so that the product uh, you know comes on this sponge so I will do that and let the product come up so as you can see the product has come up here so now I will apply it I will list down the shade and everything so this is how I apply my concealer I will apply it over my forehead on bridge of my nose on, on any dark part which you have so you will apply if I talk about my daily makeup routine I just go with compact and concealer that's it I do not uh, go for foundation because uh, concealer uh, makes my skin look perfect I don't I don't feel the need of compact and also if I do the, this makeup I everyday carry to my office so uh, going with foundation and all it it gets a little bit heavy on my skin so I just prefer using uh, just concealer and compact so for this I am using this mini cute sponge this is from pack these are beautiful uh, sponges so I will just use it for my other eye so this is the way I will spread my under eye concealer it just spreads your makeup wonderfully and the best thing about this uh, mini sponge is it just goes inside your eye very nicely so you can blend everything out as 
So once I'm done applying the concealer, I will spread the other uh, concealer with this again. I'm sorry, this is dirty because I daily use it. So this is again from Pack. These come in set of two, and these are so so soft. Look at this. These are beautiful. I mean, if you go for a budget, if you want to go for a budget friendly beauty blender, then I think this is the best beauty blender. It does not take a lot of product onto it, and it just up gets applied very beautifully. So I have applied all this the concealer. Now, since I'm filming a video, I will also use a uh, foundation to show you uh, guys how it used. So I'm. I'm using Nykaa Skin Genius Sculpting and Hydrating Foundation uh, in the shade Warm Sand. I have a lot of I have heard a lot of good things about this uh, compact, and uh, that made me buy this compact. So it comes in this plastic slim bottle. It's very easy to uh, you know even travel with this. So I'll just take little bit on my hand. my sponge into it and apply it on my rest part of the face this is a beautiful foundation it gives very nice uh, finish to your face it does not make your skin look cakey and it is from uh, it is medium to uh, dense it i mean if you want a heavier look you need to take two pump of it i mean you need to go with two coats usually you apply foundation first and then go with the concealer but since i am not such a great fan of foundation on daily basis so i just applied the concealer to show you guys how and where i apply the concealer and always do not forget your neck because if you forget it then it will show two different shades one of the face and then one of this so i have finished the application you can see that it's not full coverage foundation but it's like medium so if you want to go with heavy uh, more heavy look you can again apply a second layer of it and that's it you're sorted with the foundation now i will go with my uh, applying my compact so for compact again i'm using uh, nykaa's uh, ingenious found uh, compact powder in the shade warm honey so this is how it looks and this is a beautiful pan and it has a sponge with it and the big good thing is that it has a mirror over here because usually all the compacts have mirror down over here so it gets very difficult to apply so i would be using um, my powder brush this is from puna store these are beautiful budget uh, friendly brushes i will link down the link also i got it from amazon so i will just take a little bit and dust off the rest and apply it all over my so if you are uh, from dry skin family you can just apply it uh, wherever you have applied your concealer other and if you are from oily skin family you can up, you apply it all over the face i applied all over my face because i have oily skin so i will apply this all over my face especially uh, apply the compact in your T zone because this is the a uh, place where you get oily the most so i have finished applying my compact now the next thing which 
I would be doing is uh, applying my kajal. So for uh, kajal, I use as I as you all know, Faces Ultimate Pro Kajal. So I will just apply it under my eye on on the waterline. Then on for my corners, I will take uh, my Nika uh, Kajal pencil. Also, you do not have to forget to apply it inside, but on the up upper side of the eyes because I will show you why. So I am applying. So you can see the difference. This looks more bigger than this eye. You would be able to see it. So that's why you do not have to forget to apply it over here. Then I will take the smudger here and I will just smudge a little bit to give that natural smoky look. So after applying the kajal, I will go ahead and do my brows. Now since I do not have a lot of uh, a great problem with my brows. So I uh, use this Maybelline Fashion Brown uh, Brow Pomade Crayon. So this satisfies uh, my uh, look of the eyebrow. So this this is quite sufficient for me. So I will just apply this. If it, if you want to go outside and not apply the entire makeup, you just uh, put kajal to uh, your brows and uh, a lipstick that is sorted if your brow looks good your face looks amazing so since the uh, uh, pomade uh, uh, maybelline pomade does not have a spoolie so i will take this spoolie from this is my face is kind of this is my, my mom so i took this and i will just set my eyebrows this way so that all my hairs are at its place yes then the next thing that is my favorite thing to do that is applying mascara so i'm using this the falsies push up drama mascara this is also from maybelline so this just lengthens your eyelashes gives that volume to the eyelashes and uh, you do not need um, i mean you do not need falsies because so if you're going somewhere and you uh, you want a daily use uh, mascara you can either use this Maybelline falsies or you can go for Maybelline sensational both are very good so I will just apply the mascara I'm 
not such a big fan of eyeliner so it depends on the mood if i feel like i apply it i uh, don't feel like i don't apply it so next thing is again my favorite thing to do applying blush so for blush i am i use first i used to use a uh, blush from this palette which i showed you sivana so i used to use that so that is a beautiful blush for uh, beginners if you are uh, new to doing makeup then you should go ahead with that but since now i am quite good with applying blushes so i have opted for this palette i love this gorgeous palette these has six shades of uh blushes and this is the highlighter and this you can be used like an eye shadow so uh let me know if you want to uh do comment below if you want to uh want me to share reviews with you for this so in this i would be taking this shade right here this is very good peachy shade so i will dust off the excess and apply it just see how natural it looks so i will just blend it beautiful nicely wow i mean i like my blushes a little bit on a heavier side so you need to apply the blush on the apples of your cheek now since it has got a little bit more i will take my compact again so if you feel that your blush has gone a little bit on a higher um, like on a more side so rather than just rubbing everything Take your compact powder and just apply it over your face. So that will neutral down your blush. After that, I would be taking this highlighting shade right here. Just apply it. Can you see that glow? This is just a beautiful highlight. I just love this. So yes, with that I finish blush, blushing my face. Now I would be. Uh, I mean, if if I say I'm not, I mean I do not apply eyeshadows on daily basis. because that's not needed just basic makeup to the office is good enough so but still if you want to go with uh, a light eye shadow which you can so what you can do is uh, just take any nude neutral shade which you like so this again is a palette uh, from freedom pro and i'm just loving this palette so over here i would take uh this shade right here this um rose goldy color and i will just take it on on my fingertips and just apply it over my eye so it just gives a little bit of healthy shine to my eyelashes sorry on my just take i brush and just make it look good so yes that is how i apply my eyeshadow the 
depends on again my mood just fixing up Now it's time for my favorite, favorite, favorite thing is applying lipstick. So this is from Maybelline New York Color Show Intense Crayon in the shade Intense Red. Oh my God! What to tell you about this lipstick? So these are super pigmented. They are not the matte matte, but uh, yes, they are more comfortable on your lips. And the shades are just amazing. I would be doing. I have um, five of these. I would be doing a review on each of them very shortly because these product, this lip uh, product is worth buying seriously. So I'll apply it on my lips. Can you see that? with this the last thing to do is applying a makeup setting spray it just dissolves and sets your makeup and the compact very nicely and uh, for that I'm using this uh, makeup revolution fit uh, setting spray this is makeup revolution London pro fix oil control fixing spray this is a um, I mean I have almost finished half of the bottle this is wonderful product to use so I'll just quickly take a shower in this so you need to keep your hands this much away and then apply it so after you are done just let it get dried with this I finish my uh, look I hope you enjoyed this and for more such video if you if you enjoyed please do let me know I'm I will surely film many of the videos also do let me know I have just got my highlights done as you must have seen if you're following me on Instagram so let me know how you liked my highlights Yes, this is the final look this is the daily look which I carry to my office and this is very quick this is very easy if you do it and if you're good in doing it I mean you get regular with it it takes only 10 minutes to do it so yes yes so this is the final look if you like it please hit the like button please do not forget to subscribe to my channel and if you want you can share this look with your friends as well so keep subscribing keep liking keep supporting me like always so i will see you with my next video super soon till then bye